you better be ready to rob a bank so you can get yourself one of those new NVIDIA GTX 1080s that all the kids are talking about, because this list is going to feature the best of the best when it comes to graphical fidelity. We'll also be including console releases as part of this list, because some games clearly had brilliant designers that knew how to really push the graphical limits to the max. So get yourself a good cooling system so you don't end up frying eggs in your machine when you're playing these games. Developed by The Coalition and published by Microsoft, this upcoming title will surely bring back the gritty look of its predecessors, and what a look! The stunning graphics will feature a variety of particle and weather effects, destruction, and gore. All have been artistically designed to look as realistic as they possibly could. Currently it's stated that the single player will run at 30 FPS, while the multiplayer, co-developed by Splash Damage, will run at 60. This could be because they're toning down on some of the intense GPU processes, but it's better to have responsiveness in a multiplayer, and it looks really good so far. Speaking of multiplayer, here's a franchise that most gamers will buy solely for some well fleshed out team vs team action. Available on all major platforms including the PC, with no frame rate cap and with stunning graphics, this game will be placing the player in the middle of World War I on maps that were instrumental to the fight back then. With beautiful terrain, air and tank battles, large and open environments, and the immersion that DICE is promising players, the realistic graphics were a must, and they certainly delivered on that front. Knights, Samurai, and Vikings? Awesome! But how do you think they managed to fit all this together in one video game? If historical realism isn't exactly what they were going for, then graphical realism is the next best thing that melded all these soldiers together. Published by Ubisoft for all platforms, this game is another great example of a detailed foreground filled with warriors from all three factions and a stunning background featuring specifically themed cities under siege. The art style and graphical fidelity also make it easy to spot the different factions, as they all have detailed armor and weapons. If GTA taught us anything, it's that if you're designing a major city, you better make it realistic. Ubisoft's Watch Dogs 2 certainly follows this rule. Set in San Francisco, the graphics highlight realistic details that are meant to immerse you in the game's world. With stunning water graphics, people smoking while walking their dog, tons of vehicles, and even a beautiful city at night. Let's just hope that Ubisoft doesn't downgrade this game like they did with its prequel. That would certainly raise some torches and pitchforks in the community. This new IP developed by Guerrilla Games and published by Sony will certainly need great realistic graphics in order to immerse the player, because it's set in a post-apocalyptic world that has sort of a prehistoric vibe to it. Except for the robots, yeah, the animals are actually robots and they sure do look good. Great detail not only went on the creatures that appear in the foreground as you're fighting them, but also in the background which features a beautiful virgin landscape. All of these elements become even more gorgeous once you notice the masterful lighting that the developers worked into this game. Here we have another game published by Sony, and this time it's an old-fashioned and beloved franchise that always lauded itself for being full of big gory boss battles and over-the-top action. However, between the intense combat scenes, you'll be treated to a more calming experience of a loving father in the form of Kratos, teaching his son how to possibly be strong enough to succeed him one day. The story takes place in multiple areas of the game that look simply stunning. The lighting, foliage, detail and clothing, and not to mention the freaking boss battles that are just breathtaking in their art style and graphical fidelity. And you thought zombie games were so last season. Well, let us direct your attention to at least one more that may be worth it. Published by Sony, Days Gone has that same open-world post-apocalyptic action-adventure survival horror video game tagline that's meant to spike up search results, but this one really manages to take the graphics to the next level of realism. Because you wouldn't be scared of zombies that don't look real, right? Again, we have lighting, fire effects, zombie flesh, blood and particles to thank for this truly immersive feel. It also helps that the environment looks gorgeous and some parts are even destructible.
sports, action, racing, adrenaline. All this with brand new graphics that will make everything around you look real. I mean, look at this game. It looks like an advertisement for cars, real ones. They managed to capture that live television spectating aspect perfectly, with brilliant lighting, great shading, and very good map design, obviously inspired by real life tracks, but just look at them. They're also pushing towards having this game on their new virtual reality headset, so Polyphony Digital and Sony had to make it look good and natural. Let's just hope it's not nausea inducing when played with a VR headset. We just had to include one of the oldest and most loved franchises in video games, Final Fantasy by Square Enix. It just keeps getting better and better with every iteration of the game. Leaving out the subjective parts like gameplay and story, we're here to talk about the graphics. This upcoming action RPG will astound you with beautiful landscapes that are subject to dynamic weather systems, a variety of enemies both biological and mechanical, and the superb art style makes sure they all look great together in that special engine the company so carefully developed. If you were to just quickly skip through the trailer, you might think you're looking at several realistic looking games because the variety and quality is something astounding, but something we've come to expect from Square Enix. We talked about how hard it is for developers to create a lifelike city that also looks realistic. Well, Quantic Dream and Sony came up with a sort of spiritual successor to Heavy Rain and Beyond. Two souls, if you can even call it that. This neo-noir thriller, because of its characters and setting, relies heavily on immersion. And you know that one element of immersion that we all love is... Realistic graphics. The game feels very much like you're in a movie, and because of its impressive character detail coupled with a massive metropolis, obviously directly inspired by Detroit, it gives you that thriller feeling of suspense. It's simply awesome that we live in a time where brilliant ideas written by David Cage can be displayed and explored in a world that looks and feels so real. Alright guys, that was our list for the top 10 upcoming games with ultra realistic graphics. Now we did do our homework, but it's definitely possible we missed something, so if you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments below, as we do read absolutely everything. Now might be a good time to hit that like button if you enjoy this video, and maybe even think about subscribing to our channel. We upload new videos all the time, so subscribing will keep you up to date with all of our latest content. Thanks so much for watching guys, and have a good day!